Hello there, Lusagatov. I'm here previewing a home at 10206 Lake Lane in Oakton, Virginia. Let's go inside and check this thing out. Standing in the foyer, we have 10-foot ceilings to the right, have study or maybe even a first floor master bedroom. On the left-hand side, we have a nice dining room. So where to go, where to go, where to go? Let's just go down the center of the house. Stairs going up and down. Ah, pretty smart here. We've got a, this is the first floor bathroom. It has a shower in it. So I guess you could put a door between the office and this bathroom to create a mini little suite up on this level. Nicely done. Staying in the, I guess the great room we would call it. 10 foot ceilings, coffered ceilings. Beautiful kitchen. So actually there's room in the kitchen to have a small table here. Um, cool, cool. Nice built-in refrigerator. Wow. Nice pantry. What's nice about this house on this level is that they have eight foot doors. Um, and 10 foot ceilings. It just makes it that much nicer. Nice white cabinets. Great kitchen sink. Dishwasher and a six burner stove. And we have a microwave. Oh, the microwave no, the, the panel doesn't pop down. Very nice. Nice moldings around. And this would be a sunroom. Cool. Let's go. While we're here, we can look in the backyard a little bit. Nice backyard with a lot of trees. and leads off to a deck with composite decking. What I like about this molding here is that this is, a, this is an Adams type molding. So you have this nice shadow line that's created by this, what would be a back bend typically, but it's all in one place. Very nicely done. The other nice thing about using this kind of molding is that where the base comes into the, uh, the casing here, you have another shadow line and, and it offsets. So you get a nice, a nice look in there throughout. It's very well done. Um, keep walking through here. This is going to be the mud room. Oh, oh. Nice with cubbies. Do the cubbies have electrical outlets in them? No, bummer. But they do have the outlets down on the baseboard. Gives it a nice clean look. And then on the other side, we just have a bench with shoe cubbies. Opening the door to the garage. Two car garage. Very, very 
tall ceilings in here. Could get a lot of, it could create a storage up above, which would be, that's important. Ah, here's a secret thing to see. A hose bib in the garage. I love it. This really comes in handy in the winter time when you want to wash your cars. That hose bib, I'm sure, could be stay, stay on because garages typically do not freeze in this area. I say typically, it may freeze, but uh, that's a really cool feature. Butler's Pantry. I won't turn the lights on with the Butler's Pantry. Ah. Nice April air system. So we guess we're going to have a nice mechanical system in here. A little beverage wine refrigerator. So it's a nice little butler's pantry to get to the um, to the dining area. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. One of the things that that people are starting to do that I did a long time ago is. The, the, the edging on the stairs, I used to do a round over, now they're using stair edging, which I think is a lot cleaner and a lot more modern looking. So I'm glad to see people are, are, have embraced that. I was not the leader in that, but it was part of my building style. This is the A bedroom. It appears that we have nine foot ceilings here. Nice little walk-in closet. And an ensuite. Hello, there I am. Very nice tile all the way to the ceiling. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And I mean that in a good way. Moving on through, have some large linen. Bedroom number two, tad smaller, has a walk-in closet, another ensuite, this one has a tub in it, very nice that they also have a, a recessed light over top of the, um, the tub area. A cool fixture there. Wow. Heading back towards the masters ahead of us, but let's take a detour into the laundry room. Lights on. Nice, nice cabinets. Wow, this is a very nice, nicely laid out laundry room. A lot of uh, storage, a lot of work area. We have some. Nice storage area in here. Well done. Before we sneak into the master, let's go to bedroom number three. All the bedrooms have ceiling fans in them. And bump, ba -dum, bump, ah, another tub en suite. Kind of cool with the uh, the niche in there, pennies. And then there's another walk-in closet here. Yeah, this is nice. And the master drum roll, dun 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 dun. Very nice. Size master We've got the two windows flanking. I guess this will be the bed wall, ceiling fan, coffered ceiling. This is nice. Ooh, I like it. This is a nice closet. Ooh, very very nice. I get a kick out of people putting. Kind of chandelier stuff in in the master closets. I mean, it works, but it's just just not my style. We have a nice sitting area off the master with a lot of light. 
Let's peek back out to the backyard here. I think we get another view. It's a big backyard. I'm guessing those trees are part of the... the counting has probably required them to plant a certain amount of trees in here for the tree preservation. And going towards the master bathroom but before we go to the master bathroom there is a another closet i'm guessing i'm not going to say anything nice it's very nicely done and we have a linen closet and stepping into the master looks like about a five foot tub Double vanity, nice colors in here, recessed lights over top for your lighting. Nice walk-in shower with a bench. There are, and you've got the handheld over here. And behind this door, we have the toilet room. You know, I, I have to uh, say that I like, I like this setup because I like having a window in the, where the master bathroom toilet is. It, natural light, you can open up the window if you need be, and it's a, it's a really nice feature. This is a nice, nice bathroom. I don't think, let me see behind the door if they, no, the floors are not heated. So there we have the upper level. Let's go down to the lower level. So at the base of the lower level, we have a fifth bedroom. Has a nice egress window. Going out to the, towards the back. And then this door goes to the bathroom. So I'll take you through. We've got this nice kind of shared bath. Nicely done. The, the other neat thing about this is the doors from the bedroom and from the century way are offset so they don't clash I, I, that's one of my pet peeves when i go into these custom homes and the doors clash uh, meaning they open against one another so this was done very nicely here we have the an egress door this would be this would be the like the great room or the big rec room game room whatever you would want to put in here and back on this half we have a bar and I guess you'd put a table some tables and things back here what do we have do we have any cooking at the bar do we have a microwave no it's okay you can put a put a nice little microwave down in here if that's where you want to go and then towards the very rear, which would be under the sunroom, I'm guessing, this would be the um, a media room or exercise. And now let's go to the favorite part of my house. So we have bad insulation on the walls. Up here you can see that they foam the band boards. That's, that's, that's very, it's a very critical technique to do because that's one area where there's air infiltration. We, there's a state water heater with a recirculating pump on this. So again, very smart that they're pulling this 
and recirculating the, the, the hot water. I love this baby. Radon, yes. So we have a passive radon vent out of the sump pump. Uh, that's, again, that's an important thing to have. In Virginia, we do encounter radon in our, from the soils and having the uh, pre-installed radon vent. If the house does test for high radon, then it's easy to put a, a, a fan in that'll help mitigate and, and remove the radon from underneath the slabs. Moving around, we have a April Air. I'm not sure what this is. Steam drain. This might be a... Hmm, I'm not sure. I have to check into that. I don't know if that's a dehumidifier or what. Carrier 90% furnace with a um, air filter built in, a nice big air filter built in, gas. This is, this is well done. So let's go upstairs and just kind of chat about this place. So that's a quick little tour. So what are my thoughts about this house? To be honest with you, I am pleasantly surprised. One, I think the design uh, is, is works. It's a very nice functional design. Everything flows. I love the tall ceilings, the application of the molding, the attention to detail in this house is is really, really nice. It's, uh, it's good to see this kind of attention to construction detail. It appears without diving into all the mechanicals and HVAC systems, that there's a lot of thought put into uh, creating in good indoor air quality and, and an energy efficient home. So there's a big plus, plus, plus in that, that uh, area. Um, two car garage, it, it's a nice two car garage if that works for you. The backyard is very nice and functional. Um, the location is, is uh, you're right here in, on the edge of Oakton. Um, it's not really walkable to anything, but we don't really get walkability here in Oakton that, that much. Uh, but it's a good location. It's easy access to Fairfax City. It's easy access to 66, uh, to Tyson's. Uh, so you can get around very well in this area. I think this house would make a great home for somebody that's looking in this area, that wants to be um, in the school districts, and uh, and in this price range. If you have any questions about this house or real estate or building, please get in touch. Be glad to talk to you about uh, about what your goals are and what your ideas are, or, or if you're just your questions. Till then, stay tuned for the next video, and thanks for watching.